Thank you. <laughs> For more, let's bring in Kim Strassel. She's Wall Street Journal columnist and Fox News contributor. So good to have you. I know you, you wrote about this in your column last week, which I read every week, no. and everybody should. Uh, but I think is interesting is that President Obama needing to come in to try to campaign for Terry McAuliffe. He did so over the weekend. Here's what he said about this. We don't have time to be f wasting on these phony, trumped up culture wars. We're at a turning point right now, both here in America and around the world. Because there's a mood out there. So. Kim, I wanted to ask you about this because there's actually, even before you go to, you go to the voting, you have the fact that 10,000 students have left Fairfax County since the pandemic started. Now, Fairfax County, for everybody watching, this is the most sought after school district. People will do any, people try to do anything to get into that school district because the schools were so good and they're down 10,000. To me, some people have already mm -hmm. voted, Kim. Yeah, I mean, this Obama line is completely in keeping with what Terry McAuliffe, who's running for governor, has been saying, which is to try to deny that there is even an issue. There's no problem with critical race theory. There's no problem with the schools. The problem is, is it, as you said, not only have you had all those students leave, but you are literally having thousands of parents show up at these Fairfax school board meetings, the Loudoun school board meetings. So that's the kind of election pitch that just falls on deaf ears. And it's why McAuliffe is in so much trouble, because not only is he on the wrong place on education, he's pretending there's no problem. And, and tens of thousands of parents and voters in Virginia know that's not the case. And, and this is where Youngkin is really making his, his ground up, is on this education issue. Kimberly, you write about this in the Wall Street Journal this week. Uh, let, let me get to the point. Here's Youngkin talking about uh, Joe Biden. He's going to go to Virginia this week. Watch here. This is soundbite number five. President right? Biden wants to come campaign in Virginia. Come on. Spend all the time you want here. I'm talking to Virginians. We're on a bus tour to stop at 50 stops. And, you know, you can't help but look at President Biden and recognize what a failed presidency looks like. I mean, you look at Afghanistan, you look at the border, you look at our economy, you look at the fact that everything he's doing seems to be making America worse. So, I mean, listen, he's got a campaign. He's running on it. I mean, maybe it works in the end. We'll find about a, a week from tomorrow. Um, how significant are the headwinds from a presidency that's in the 30s? <laughs> Yeah, well, Bill, the fact that the president feels he has to come, that Terry McAuliffe feels like he has to come, tells you everything you need to know. This is a state that Joe Biden won by 10 points. And if you were talking to Democrats six months ago, they said this wasn't even an issue. It wasn't a concern. This state had trended blue and Republicans didn't have a shot. And now you've had uh, not only Obama, but you're going to have Biden. You had Kamala Harris. Um, and it's because we've got polls out showing this race a dead heat. And it's both because of the mistakes Youngkin has made on a number of issues and because of problems Democrats are having in Washington. But also, I think you've got to be honest, uh, Youngkin is a really good candidate for this state as well, too. And he's played his cards very well. And Kim, just to maybe zoom out for us a little bit um, as a final word about Watching this issue as of education in, in Virginia, do you think that Republicans could run on that issue in 2022 for those midterms? Yeah, I think this is uh, Terry McAuliffe's gift to the GOP because here's why education is so potent too, Dana, is it, it crosses lines. If you look at what Democrats are trying to do, they want to divide Republican base off from those suburban voters that Democrats have been making inroads in. But education is one of those things that unites all sides. Um, and you're seeing that in Virginia. It crosses socioeconomic lines. It's just as important to the white working class as it is to suburban parents. It crosses demographic lines. Uh, it's just as important to minorities as it is to white voters. Um, you have Democratic candidates who look like they don't care or are pushing things like CRT. And then you have Republicans who are promising to do it different. That's a very potent issue all across the states. Thanks, Kim. Good to have you. Thank you so Kim much, Strassel. Kim Strassel. Check Thank you. Out. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.